so I would like to t ask you a few questions about Petra and Jasna, of course, okay. but in the beginning you are one of the oldest athletes, but I don't want to tell you that you are the oldest, but the I athlete am. <laughs> with, a lo with a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell me, what is your secret? So I don't, I don't really think I have a secret. My, if I have a secret is my energy. I have a lot of energy. I'm, I'm always uh, positive. Like I, I really want to, to do many things in my life. I'm, I'm used to have to, to be really busy in my, in my own life. It's also in summer. So when I'm home, I'm always doing something. And so that's, that's I think my, my secret and also my passion for this sport. I really love what I'm doing. I really love uh, skiing in the snow and the sensation when you're on snow. And also I love to compete, to put myself in a game, to put myself challenges. This is something that I really like. And um, I think I'm, it's, it's not a better version of myself, but I'm becoming like more and more um, good because I'm um, I'm trying to like every time that I fall or every time that it's, it's a, a bad period, then I I come back stronger. So I'm I'm building myself uh, stronger and stronger every year, every time I'm trying. But for sure, it's been a long time that I'm here. I have a lot of experience in one hand, and but getting old, like getting old, sometimes it's also um, too much pressure and. And also the body, and also like you know the mind. You you know exactly where you are. You know exactly what you're doing, and it's pretty stressful. But in some for some reasons you have you already know what what uh, what it means. And I'm uh, getting stronger and stronger, as I said. So and uh, this helps you also with your motivation when you won a Crystal Globe like four years ago. You were struggling a little bit. The next season, the season after. So this uh, mindset also helps you to get stronger and get into your shape. What are you right now? Yes, for sure. Um, hardest season are the one if you get uh, out of it is where you, you can really get better and get stronger. As I said, like a difficult moments are are making you yourself stronger if you pass them. But also, um, that I think that season was really hard. It was harder for me. Um, actually, I started good, but um, the prison that we were uh, sharing with all the other people and the moments, I'm, I'm one uh, person that like really love to, to live. So I, I need to live my life. I need to have friends, I need to have moments. I, have, I need to have positive uh, people around. And, and that year it was really impossible to live. Like what, if you were skiing, it was just skiing, and 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 so this was for my mind really hard. And when you're not uh, good with your mind and with yourself, and it's your mind is not clear, it's uh, difficult to to. Uh, for me, for example, it's, it's difficult to be there, really present, and and really good on on skiing when you're not good with your head. So what's the difference between uh, Federica in 2014 and Federica in 2024? <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's, oh wow, it's worth 24. It's, it's been a long time and I changed, for sure I changed a lot. Um, but for some reasons, not so much. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm always the same person. I just, uh, it's a better version of myself. I learned a lot about skiing. I learned about, about, about myself. I made so many um, works on my mind, with my body, with my everything. Like uh, I've been uh, trying to get better and better every day. Uh, also with meditation, with uh, breath work, with uh, mind work, and I've been. But I've always been the same person as I was uh, as a kid, as a, as younger. And I think I'm still. I I still like the same things and. I still love the same people like around me and my friends at home. So, yeah, not not so much changed at the end. Uh, how is it to compete uh, with uh, Michaela? She is the greatest in the world. Uh, what do you feel when you win the race over her? Does it count for you twice? <laughs> you mm, no, actually, it's winning is always winning. Uh, but for sure, Michaela, she's uh, she's the best here all times, and you can see it from the results and not also because. It's a lot of years there, all the disciplines, every year, and she's she's kind of really hard to beat. But um, it's already good that uh, it's beatable. Like uh, 
and um, it just pushes a lot of girls to, to do it better so it's uh, it's been a motivation for many many years and um, she's really great in her mind I think her skin is great and she's technically almost perfect but where she's the strongest it's it's the mind she, she's always there she's always uh, really um, constant on her results on her um, runs and it's I know I can I can be faster than her but not all the time so I do many things and yeah that's that's the thing how is she as a person I don't know if I I know her exactly as a person but when because I I never did like uh, so many days with her so I can meet her on the slope and sometimes at uh, um, where I meet her a lot more is like for ceremonies or in the night for big draws and I think she's she's really nice actually she's uh, she's fun and and but I, I don't know how she is at home when she's not on the race um, on the race um, word or on when work up so i i would like in some for some reasons i really would like to know her better and to discover how making a difference is um not with skin but then i think she's the same she's just really she's nice and she's really into uh her work, her work. she seems really um carry <laughs> and but uh yeah she, i think she's nice what is your relationship with uh, Petra Vohova? I, I really like Petra because she's, uh, she's kind of uh, real, you know, you can see her when, when um, like her personality is, it's never a show, it's always herself and I really like Petra when uh, like always she, she's putting all herself on skiing and to, to succeed and I think she's a, a professional, really a professional skier person in, for the sport and um, yeah, she's kind of also hard to beat also because she's, uh, she's always there and in many disciplines she, she proved that she, she can be there in, in speed as in GS and Zalom and yeah, I think uh, I really, I like her. Uh, do you notice a lot of uh, Slovak fans traveling to support Petra Vohova? How does it feel for you? I, yeah, I've seen a lot of fans from Petra everywhere and in every part of the world that's just incredible and I really like it and um, I've seen also that uh, Slovakians are are they like me I don't know why but they like me a lot and this is really funny and they 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 are always asking for photos and they seem really into skiing and into Petra and that's just amazing for from our country to have so many people around with her yeah, I can confirm that uh, Slovak people like you. Really. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I could see it also on social media. And, yeah, that's okay. really nice. Thank you. So, are you looking forward to Jasna? There's uh, like a high, so it's, it's the top of the season for Slovak people. So, how do you like it? I think there's going to be a lot of people because of Petra for sure. And actually, I have a good relationship with Jasna because it was my first and only podium in Europa Cup. So, I'm, uh, yeah. I, I liked uh, Yasna because it was for sure my first time at high level and for me it was a news. And I also have another podium in World Cup. I always did quite good in Yasna. I love the snow that you have there and I'm looking forward to, to being Yasna and I don't know, I hope to, to be good. <laughs> uh, what uh, does the 2026 Olympic Games mean to you? Is it the highlight, highlight of your career? I don't know for now I'm not for sure thinking about it I just wanna I will live in here now I'm trying to really focus on race by race weekend by weekend and um, actually it's in two years it's a lot of time and uh, I'm not the youngest as you said before <laughs> and I I don't know if I'm still if I will be still motivated as I'm now like today and I, I was the summer I will for sure prepare and try to be there and and to be there like uh, to to make great races but if i will not be motivated and i always said in my career the day the day this is just the work and i don't want to go around anymore it's just uh, really heavy i will not race anymore i will not do this and it's it's been a long period that i'm around like it's been more than 14 years in work up so we'll see if i would be there yes and if i want it's 
it's not a problem. I mean, I've been doing four Olympic Games in my life. I have, I think I have achieved more than I was expecting, oh, for sure, more than I was expecting as a kid. And and this is just amazing. So everything that comes now, it's, it's just a plus. So I'm just trying to enjoy. And if I will enjoy still, I will try to be there. And if I not, it's not that it is in, Italian, in Italy that I, I have to be there. I mean, I want to be there if I'm, I'm there, you know. So what is your biggest success in your career that you value the most? I think the, um, the overall World Cup was the highest, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, which of the World Cup plays uh, is your favorite? Well, my favorite place is uh, Latvia because it's just around my house <laughs> for speed and um, in actually I have many many favorite places um, I also really like uh, Soldeu, I really like Tramontana, Kronplatz and for sure all the Italian places I like it a lot. Who is uh, your closest person in the uh, skiing community? Um, so you mean as athletes? Mm -hmm. um, I have a I have to say that I have a good relationship um, in, uh, in the, the World Cup, um, but for, I think my best friend in, around was um, Mitch, Marie Michelle Gagnon from Canada. She just uh, left skiing like, last year. Um, I really was close to Tessa Borlé also, and um, in, um, in, with the, all my Italian team, I'm, I'm really close to girls. And Lisa Agarer was my best friend in the Italian team for all times. I was really friends also with Manuela Mel, Denise Carbon and Chiara Costazza. They, they, I shared a lot of moments with them and it was really, really nice. And who is your biggest support during the race? My yeah. biggest support is my brother. He's always around with me. He's my coach and uh, he's my mentor. And I've been really good since he's with me. I, I really um, enjoy it more and I think I achieved a lot since he's with me. Which of the young uh, female skiers uh, do you like the most? Uh, there's a lot of young uh, athletes going for a good results. So yeah, one? I really like um, uh, Zrinka Jutlic. She She's nice and she's uh, she already knows what she wants. And she comes with a lot of sports in her bag, you know, like I was as, as a kid. And I really, really like her attitude. She's always positive. She's, uh, she's a nice person also. And yeah, I think she's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And what is your advice? Uh, what advice uh, would you give to younger skiers who want to be like you? Um, so I think it's uh, the, the, the determination is uh, the biggest thing to have, but also just try to enjoy, uh, live, live your life as you want and have fun. This is the secret for, for a, a good life and this is uh, what, uh, what brings me here today after a long, long time and, and what's, uh, what's uh, the best for you if you want to enjoy because the results are really important but then what stays for you in your life is what you were living like with the others and all the good times you had in your life. Thanks. Uh, last question. I think yeah. we are in time. Yeah, I got 15.